What's going on guys? Joni and Joe back with another late video. I'm still trying to work through the schedule for real life and making room for streams and videos, so bear with me. Regardless, I'm bringing you a video, which I intended to be the This Most King Games video, but instead I'm doing the Meta Weekly deck report. I entered the Meta Weekly on Wednesday, December 12th, and I happened to get ninth place with a new deck, Junk Control, that came out with the mini box. If it wasn't known before, I am a member of the Duel Links Meta family, so make sure if you haven't already to check out DK and his channels. We're gonna go right to the deck. As you can see, I finally have my favorite sort of Junk Synchron, which inspired the build for this deck. Unfortunately, it is not a pure synchro deck like I would have liked. I used to play Junked Up in the CCG, so once I saw him, I knew I had to make a deck on something. Um, this is my second Meta Weekly, so I was pretty proud of myself for making ninth place with a fresh deck out the mini box. So, this video is just going to consist of me talking about the deck real quick, and then I'm just going to hand it off to whatever duels I had on stream, which it's only going to be one duel and then, that I won, and then another win and loss in top 16. Um, unfortunately, I didn't save the replays of the other ones, like Fusions and Duelize, but I'll just show what I have. Um, let me get into the deck real quick. Um, Breaker is one of the newer cards from the Black Wings box. Pretty great now in this meta. Um, the normal summer hand, you get to use a counter to pop a spell or trap, which is mostly what I do. Um, the 1900 attack is nice, but I didn't find much time to use it. I don't have a third, so a third would definitely be clutch, but fortunately I had to deal with two. On to Junk Synchron, he's the core of the deck, like, without him you just play a regular control deck, but he opens up the possibility of getting an instant level 5 synchro with your skill, so it's pretty good. When he's normal summon, you get to bring back a level 2 lower monster from the graveyard, which, thanks to the scale, what grows in the graveyard, get a dark version automatically. And then you'll go into your level 5, which is Armades, and we'll get to him later. Um, I'm running one Sphere Karibo. Um, was it the best choice? I was flipping between 1 and 2. The 1 did save my life at times, but I'm considering just running an extra trap or something in place of him. But he is an option. Wind Up Juggler. Um, unfortunately, I do not have 3 DD assailants, because I would definitely put them in place, but wind up jugglers is the next best thing. If he battles a monster, he can destroy it once while he's face up on the field. Um, there's pros and cons between him and DD assailants, since she needs to get destroyed in battle, but he has the lower stats, and fortunately, he doesn't have to be destroyed, so I prefer DD assailant, but this is what I dealt with. Um, saved my life a bunch of times, so if you have DD Assail, I would say run her. One Galaxy Cyclone. Um, I only have one. I actually pulled the second right after the tournament, which got me mad, but it's a good card. You get one face down pop, one face up pop, one is in the grave. Good against vampires, unfortunately, we don't do enough of that stuff for me. Two enemy controllers are uh, not mandatory, but I have the room for the two semi-limited cards, so this is good, just in case you want to like tribute take with your Dark Verger and synchro into a bigger monster or just attack with a stronger monster. It's pretty it's still pretty good in this deck. Two Dust Tornadoes. Um since I'm don't have the third breaker or second galaxy cyclone or something, I decided to go for this. This card is also good because unlike Galaxy Cyclone and removal and stuff. This can hit spellbooks because usually fate will scroll over your breaker and silent magician will negate your galaxy so this is a good card to have. Um because of what I expected to see in the tournament I decided to run this because I expected a lot of control and stuff and it worked out great. Um in a regular scenario you probably won't need these but it's good to have. Three Canadians um Unfortunately, I hate this card a lot because it's so staple nowadays and 
it disrupts almost everything. So, unfortunately, I'm forced to run three. Um, he has some nice synergy with Junk Synchro. Since he comes back as a level two, he can use a Synchro material or something. It's also unaffected my monster effects. I think at one point in the tournament, someone attacked it, forgetting that with um, their windup juggler. So, it's a staple. I mean, if you don't have three, I would work very hard to get it. I use the Dream Signal on it. I don't regret, I don't regret it at all. And last, we have Wall of Disruption. Um, I was going to run two, but I decided to go for three. With your Synchro Armades, this card is amazing. Because once they attack Armades, they, his effect, they can't activate anything in response to it. So they're just going to lose attack points and possibly just die. Um, I probably will cut this down to two. It got played around a lot. So, I would probably run Mirror Walls instead, because Mirror Walls can stop on Hades and stuff. On to the extra deck, um, I have one starters. Honestly, I didn't go into them once, and to go into them is pretty rare. You would probably need to normal summon Junk Synchro, Revive Sphere, Karibo, which only have one of the deck, so that should be reason enough not to run starters. And then have a level four on the field, so that's eight. Unless you tribute take level five or something, but pretty much for the memes, Akiza has the summoning quote, so you could probably find something better there. Jump Berserker, um, you can't tell us about it, so I'm pretty excited about that. But he's pretty much a good level seven to have in the deck until Black Rose comes out. You can banish Junk Synchro from the graveyard and target a monster and it loses the attack. So 1300 attack. And if he attacks a defense position monster, it gets destroyed after starting the damage step. It's pretty good to have. Um, I would have run one definitely in all of these builds. Uh, let's skip the main monster from the deck. I run one Junk Warrior. Um, honestly, I didn't go into him once either. The combo was supposed to be Junk Synchron, the Dark Verger, and then leaving a Canadian on the field so that Junk Warrior will get his attack buff, uh, boosted. But unless you're boosting his attack, there's no reason to summon him. He has the same attack points as our baby, so didn't go into him once. If I do get um, DD Assailant, I will run X Saber Wing because DD Assailant is a warrior, so you could possibly get an extra small storm board. So, if you have that, I would do that. On to the main card of the deck, Armades, Keeper of Boundaries. Also came out with Junk Synchro. This card is nuts. I mean, in the TCG, I usually like to keep one in the deck. Um, he kind of like dwindled as the TCG is better went downhill, but right now he's amazing. Um, he's a UA Mighty Sword on crack. If he attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate any cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Pretty simple. No Wall of D, no Sphere Karibo, no... Actually, let me point out something real quick. Um, Mirror Wall does hit him if it's already facing the field. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, I think you might see it later in the video, I'm not sure. But, unfortunately, the weakness lies is that he doesn't have much attack, so he doesn't really get over... Vampires with Kingdom, or Blue Eyes, or Mass Hero Anki, so you're going to have to rely on your background. But that's the quick version of the deck. Actually, let me just show the side deck real quick. Let me say now, I am not the best side decker. Um, I did my best, so I only have one DD assailant, and I'll put it on the side. I should put it in the main now, definitely, but it did come in clutching as Blue Eyes off screen. He went into his eyes and attacked the assailant. They think he was safe, but he wasn't. So that's going to go in the main deck. And if I get more, I'll definitely put them in. Two mirror walls. Um, like I said, mirror wall is a good counter to our ladies in the mirror match. And it was actually good for blue eyes also because we don't run a lot of high attack monsters. So you need something to cut them down quick. Last two cards Magic Deflector. Um, this card was named for vampires, and I did come to use 
that one duel you'll see. But other than that, it didn't show up as early as I would have liked it to. It's one of those cards where if you don't open with it in turn one, it's not going to be good. So. My only losses were the vampires, so I need to figure out something that would make it easier for me. But other than that, my matchups were the mirror match, blue eyes, bougins, vampires I lost in Swiss, and then um, I think I faced another blue eyes deck in top 32, and then I lost the vampires in top 16. So I'll show a few of the clips now from the stream on Duel Links Meta. So, as I said before, check out Duel Links Meta on Twitch and YouTube. DK has a lot of good videos and tournaments going on. So, let's get into it. Onion, and uh, I'm not sure if there's a fresh duel or not. I think the first duel went to Jonian. What grows in the graveyard? What grows in the graveyard? Dark Verger, yeah. Dark Verger. Not a turn one Junk Synchron. Ooh, that's interesting. We have a Wind Up Juggler and Didi Assailant. That's a very popular topic of which card is better. They both do pretty much the same thing. Breaker on summon adds a spell counter. You can remove that spell counter to destroy any back row card. Can Nadia flip that boy down? I don't think so. When Didi Assailant is destroyed by battle, you banish the monster battled with. And Juggler does not need to be destroyed by battle. It can attack into anything and destroy that monster by its own card effect, but only once while it's face up. Breaker, meet my Breaker. Are you gonna, all right, Kanadi on Breaker, Kanadi on Breaker. Is that gonna special summon Kanadi from the grave? When a trap is activated, your Kanadia could summon as a monster, which is a level two that works with your Junk Synchron. It's good for Synchro Shokan. With all this back row, we need an Armades. Armades is the core card of this deck. It's all about. Let me show you that. A little preview of Armades. You guys already saw some Armady action. Armades action. Do I have the card preview on here? I don't think I... I have to click it. I need to add that to my thing. We, I've been doing a lot of maintenance recently. Armades is what this is all about. Hallucigenia to special summon his own Kanadia. Now, he had to activate this very carefully. Very careful activation, which means you do not activate in the damage step, which is what the game attempts you attempts to have you activate it in. You have to have your toggle on to use Hallucigenia correctly in order to summon your own Kanadia from the grave. Otherwise, you can't special summon in the damage step. Take out that breaker, 1k defense. That means that there's a damage step card right there that could be from his end or his opponent's end. Mirror wall could be the potential card. Swings into a Sphere Karibo. Hand trap. In the D, you go. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So who's got the Mirror Wall? Or the Chalice? Kind of triggered that I don't have... Um... This button should be it. Let me, let me do it live. This button. I found it. Let me delete this button. Delete. Let me... Um... OBS source. Card. It's going to be under there. And it's going to be the card preview. There you go. Nice. Whoa, morphing jar number two. It may look like Jonin's winning right now, but at any moment, he could top deck that Junk Synchron, Special Summon Dark Verger, and create an Armades, which is happening right here, right now. We know that uh, Jonin potentially has a mirror wall. Does he have another Kanadia? Kanadia could really mess up his day. Armades at 1500 defense would not die to Kanadia. And if it attacks into the juggler or the juggler attacks into Armades, juggler cannot activate its effect to destroy Armades. So we're gonna find out right here. Now, in the battle phase, it will prompt the opponent to flip up his back row. This is it, flip it up. He does have a Kanadia, which means the wind up juggler will take out the Armades unless Sir Dillweed has a way to protect from it. Playing Juggler in the Armadies. Now, you may think you cannot use Juggler effect against Armadies at all. That's incorrect. 
you can use your wind-up juggler against Armades in this situation. So if Sir Dillweed, if he had something like a wall of D and you swing in with your juggler, juggler will still destroy the Armades even at a smaller uh, attack than the defense because Armades was not face up on the attack. Why not Kanadia the Junk? Because he had uh, an out to the Armades with just wind-up juggler. He just wanted to get that, he got that 1200 damage in. Breaker, break the back row, but if you break the back row, you will be smaller than the juggler. Juggler has not used its effect yet, so you have to be careful about that. If he does not use Breaker's effect to destroy back row and swings in the juggler, juggler will take out Breaker. He breaking. He breaking. Break the middle. I think that's the mirror wall, right? Oh, Econ. Didn't really need the Econ, but... You know, just chain it. Does protect the Kanadia. You break it, you buy it. Dust Tornator. Goodbye. Hallucigenia chaining to Dust Tornator. Special summoning is a 1200 attack monster. This can delay the duel a bit more. This is not over for Sir Dillweed yet. So there you go. That was the, the damage step card, the chalice. This is why I kept saying mirror wall, mirror wall, mirror wall. That was that delay. Econ take for game. Oof. Junk synchron off the top of the deck. Not enough room to summon Dark Verger, but he's got plenty of monsters to synchro Shokan right there. We could be seeing a Junk Berserker or just a basic Armades. That's exactly what we're seeing. I think so. Armades! Boom! Good stuff. Armades taking out the Palizoa Clusigenia. Gee, a goddamn fruit fly is killing me right now. Can you, like, get it away from me? Can you, like, do a, a dance or something? Junk Synchron! Meet Junk Synchron! Junk Synchron versus Junk Synchron. The best way to counter Junk Synchron is your own Junk Synchron. Let's make our own Armades. Is there a level 5 that deals with Armades? I don't think so right now. So you just make your own Armades. There you go. He's Armades plus back row. That's a good way to protect it. Take out that wind up juggler. Wind up juggler not able to activate its effect because of Armades' effect. Oh, 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 hey, okay, his Armades is good for another turn. Damn, what a top deck. That is disgusting. This was the out to Armades, but he's breaking it with Breaker. Did he wait for Breaker's uh, effect to destroy it? No, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Damn, that was the way to take out the Armades. Breaker just really messed up that plan. He's got another, though. Let's see if he has another Breaker. Take out Breaker off the top of the deck. Will he be swinging into Armades, or is it too scary? Too scary. Don't do it. Oh my god, he's doing it. What are you swinging into? Offerings. And remember, he can't he couldn't activate the, the hallucigenia on his opponent's turn on the attack, but on his turn he would have been able to activate it on his own attack. Well, no, he would have to activate before then attack. So he did have the option to just suicide our maze anyway. So you know what? Breaker really wasn't a big deal anyway. Ooh, that's not good. He's gonna have to flip him down in the battle phase. It's very crazy. Armades versus Armades, nothing could be activated on either attack. Battle phase, flip, this is it. Mirror wall, that's not good enough. You need to summon a, a Paleozoic from the grave. Uh, do you have your own Paleozoic? He just denied it if he had his own Paleozoic. If you summon your Paleozoic from your grave in response to your opponent's trap, they cannot summon their own Paleozoic. He has to flip his other face down card or it's over. Dust Tornator, will this summon a Paleozoic? Or does he have another Paleozoic? Paleo, Paleo, Paleo! 
There you go. He's alive for another turn. Do you realize that Jonin could just top deck a goddamn junk uh, Synchron and the duel's back in his favor? That's all that has to happen here. He could literally just top deck a junk Synchron. I think he would be on his... Um, he's only used one junk Synchron based off his extra deck being four cards. Junk Berserker incoming. That would have been nice. Oh boy. This is a back and forth duel. I just can't believe swinging back and forth, back and forth. Joel. Ooh, he's sad and he's scared. He's scared. Oh my God. <laughs> Looks like he drew a dud. Sir Dilly takes game number two. Nothing uh, can be activated on attack. That back row, probably a wall D. God damn. In a side deck tournament, you potentially want to side all of your wall of Ds, your widespreads out. Maybe you want to side in floodgates, more hallucinogenias, stuff like that. Good stuff. Let's get ready for what well, that was game. No, that was a 2-1 victory in Sir Dillweed's favor. Good job, Sir Dillweed, winning the mirror match. Both of you played very well. Or you actually do have another game. I guess, I guess one of these games were like a DC and they restarted. So game three. Damn, even the room replay is not reliable. The new Amazon mirror match, that's what we're calling this. I I agree. I think that this is a lot more exciting than the Amazon mirror match. I think so. All right, Sir Dillweed's got the turn one play. Is he going to be a turn one Junk Synchron? Nope. All right, we got DD Assailant. So it looks like Sir Dillweed went with DD Assailant and Jonin went with Wind Up Juggler. DD Assailant versus Wind Up Juggler is an interesting discussion where DD Assailant's got that 60 under defense and it banishes instead of destroying. So Silent Magician gets banished, does not get its effect. And when it's Kanadi, it flipped face down, does not die to a Kanadi, and it also does not die to Destiny Heroes. Breaker! I mean, uh, break broke the Kanadia with that uh, Galaxy Cyclone. That Kanadia was the perfect way to deal with his Junk Synchron. Does he have something else? Synchro! Shokan! Gia, what's the um, title of the the Twitch stream? We good? Oh, it's now. Thank you, whoever updated it. Ooh, Chalice at the start of the battle phase, ensuring that our mateys will not keep the effect of DD Assailant not being able to banish. That just holds it off for a single turn, though. All right, he passes. Remember, DD Assailant can also, he can't swing in either to activate its effect to banish. It's not good. Whoever gets their Junk Synchron early wins the duel pretty much. Breaker! Break the back row. Or not. Kanadia flipped that boy down. Are we going to see a Paleozoic be summoned from the grave? By the way, guys, this is Meta Weekly 50! 50! Gee, a 50 weeks in a row of Meta Weekly? How did this happen? Who the hell's idea was this? How many weeks are in a year? Like, uh... <laughs> are you retarded? Jesus. There is 52 weeks in a year. We started the Meta Weekly in... We started the first week of January. This is almost a full year of Meta Weekly. Halfway through December, Meta Weekly 50, the 52nd week will be at the end of December or at the start of January. God damn. God damn. Uh, is Sir Dillweed scooping? What's going on here? <laughs> Am I missing something? Did I record the first Meta Weekly? It, yes, I did. It should be on YouTube. So maybe for the one year anniversary, we'll, look, we'll take a look back at what's been going on. Jonin pays for the wall. 
after seemingly Sir Dillweed pretty much scooping. Just arrived from Italy. What's up? How you doing, man? Oh, Sir Dilly, that was an oops, not a scoop. Okay, so Sir Dilly maybe forgot that the Paleozoics are unaffected by monster effects, which is why DD Assailant did not banish the Kanadia. Top deck! I don't know. Uh, nothing, not even drowning could help. Not, not, like, nothing could help. Nothing. Big Shield Gardner. Could that help? Big Shield Gardner, does it go to attack after the first attack? Yeah, actually. Wait, Big Shield Gardner wouldn't activate. Big Shield Gardner is the counter to Armades because it stays in defense. God damn. Jonin with the 2 1 victory. The new Flash movie looks lit. I heard that there's new screens for the, the Sonic movie and they're not looking good. I think Sonic is maybe retarded, right? And, and it's really creepy too. They're like showing his legs and he's on a, an overpass or something. <laughs> what the hell? This is. You can't show it on screen, on stream, but it was hilarious. Let me open image and a new tab. What the hell is this, guys? What? Go on, go on Facebook by yourself and look at it. Why? Up right I, I bet a dick was fucking no, edited right there. Wow, you must love dicks. Then why are you saying I can't show it on stream? For another reason. But this image. Yes. Okay. Was, was it the Sonic was here thing? No. Okay, I'll I'm look. Gonna show it to you. I'll look. Why would I look at something I can't share at the stream? Because you're going to laugh. There, click on it, and then read, read what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Where the F is socks at? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, Sealed Tombs is being activated. He cannot summon Junk Synchron, especially summon Dark Verger. He did get cucked by that in game one. Dust Tornator, hopefully um, hitting a takeover, maybe. I mean, it wouldn't really matter. He does not have a zombie in the field to even activate it. Goodbye, Canadia. Wait, doesn't Sonic wear socks? Yes, he does. What the hell? How'd they mess that up? How do you not wear socks with your sneakers? Like, like it's funny, but he's also... Wait, I don't think he's wearing socks. He is. the white. It's part of his shoes, Those I think. socks. Those are his shoes. No. It's definitely his shoes. Right, guys? Are you with me on this or what? It's his... See? I think this is official. Or may, this might be fan art. I don't know. All right. Back to the duel. We have Breaker and... We have Breaker and Juggler. Juggler, once while face up on the field, can destroy any card it goes to battle with. So that's different than DD Assailant, where DD Assailant must be destroyed by battle in order to take out the monster it battled with. So interesting. But, you know, he's got the weak 1000 defense. Decisions. Decisions. I like when Konami or other card games create similar cards that you actually have to make uh, decisions and, and, you know, preference of play style. God damn. Bobby Bowden says, I just lost to Casey Fool in the top 32. It was really fun. I misplayed a few times because I was nervous, but I am glad I joined Bobby Bowden. I'm very happy that you joined the Meta Weekly with the deck you enjoy, which is Gladiators, and you did very well, and you got in the top 32. Next week, you also, next week, you got two tournaments. You have the giveaway tournament, which is free entry, single elimination, and then you have another Meta Weekly. Let's do it. Lots of tournaments next week. And someone asked the question, where's the MCS? The MCS is being delayed for early January due to this being a holiday season this month. Um, if you're America, then you have family and friends. And uh, I don't... I know a lot of European people and other cultures celebrate New Year's heavily, mm -hmm. like even more than the Christmas Eve time. 
So it's just like this month just gets really. It's not worth it to force it. You know. It's not worth it to people force are it. We're all over the place, so yeah. we're gonna do one in January. And we would probably have a low turnout, or it would be really stressful to get people to join because people have their family and stuff, which is a, a bigger priority. All right. So, 2019 right away, bam, MCS, and we're gonna try to make the MCS schedule more predictable. Basically, Natuk. Thank you. We got the top 32 breakdown. I'm going to get into that. Larry says, you're my family. Larry, <laughs> you all are my family. You guys are, thank you all. Love you all. Thank you. Yeah, I don't even know if we're going anywhere. So it's I don't know. for other people that Yeah. we don't want to run the tournament. Yeah, it's, it's mostly everywhere. for other people. Because we'll probably be right here. So. so, if you don't know what the MCS is, the MCS is a monthly tournament. It's supposed to be. It's... It, you know, Meta Weekly's every single week, bro. The MCS is almost every single month, bro. And it is the largest Duel Links tournament that happens monthly. We have people from Japan, China, Korea, Brazil, America, Europe. Bro. They all come together to play for thousands of dollars. We've given away over $30,000 since the first MCS ever. It's a big Saturday event, eight to nine hours. And we, yeah, it's a fun time. It's the the... The best decks come out, the best play, YCS champions, professional players, people that have went to Worlds in the TCG and in, in Duel Links. It's crazy. National champions of Japan in the TCG. It's a fun time. And it's coming back in early 2019. Canada, I don't think anyone from Canada joins, and that's okay. Junk Synchron. We have an Armades. Junk Synchron is literally a normal summoned Armades. 2300 attack. Your opponent cannot activate any card effects. Is this it for negative one? Is this the big comeback for Jonin? Jexile Sensei, can you invite us to come party at your house? I will bring snacks, card, and our mobile phones to compete, plus beer of age, of course. Done. You We're had me at snacks. For for MCS XXX, MCS 30, it will be in person. We're going to rent out a venue, and you all are going to have to fly in person, and we're going to do it right then and there. And Jexal Sensei will provide the snacks. Thank you. That's the future, by the way. The future is card games die, and like physical card games. They're, they're dead. They're only for collecting and, and now. And then uh, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Hearthstone, everything's on the phone or on the computer. And then you're going to be playing in person, but on your phone. And uh, hopefully, one of those, you could do some virtual trading with your phone, like a you know trading Pokemon. Oh boy, what's going on here? Is he uh, searching for a desire? Does he have some kind of big play here? I don't think so. He's just just putting another body on the field. Bobby Bowden just posted my deck in the Gladiator channel if you guys want to take a look. So if you want to see a top 32 Gladiator deck, the best performing Gladiator deck in months, then check out the Gladiator channel in the Discord. Our mateys, take out the Samurai Skull at only 800 life. He better figure out something. He can only afford to search for one more Vampire card. He needs a good suck. He needs Vampire Vamp. Vampire Vamp. Oh my Jesus. Wow, the dueling book did not uh, die on me. Vampire Vamp. You, what may end. Is this the unedited version? I think it is. Whoa. She looks a little different than the in-game one. Besides um, her, her front section not being covered. We need to give our mateys the good suck. Lend him your power. Actually, I want Jonin to win. Don't, you know, ward away the Vampire Vamp. We do not want Vampire Vamp. It's banished by the Kazuki. Oh my God, there you go. He is safe. There will be no good suck today because it is apparently banished. Good stuff. You believe trap tricks have potential? I'm not sure if a, a trap trick's made in the top 32. I'll check the Discord right now. Check out the Discord. 
Thank you so much, Grand Harrier and Jade Hext for both of you providing the top 32 breakdown. Yes, Jonin takes it to t game three. Game three, Jonin, good job for winning game number two. I was rooting for you. We want to see Junk Synchron win it. You have to do it for me, boy. You have to. No misplays. Top tier plays. Jonin, all the pressure's on you. Everyone's looking at you if they should buy or invest into Junk Synchron. People, they've been hoarding their gems. They've been waiting for something crazy to come out. You need to guide them to the junk. Let's see. The top 32 breakdown. Here it is. Boom! Top 32, Jade and Grand Hair. Thank you both. I appreciate that. Vampires, most played and best performing in the top 32. Wallet Control in second place. And that's a mix between Junk Synchron and not playing Junk Synchron. So we don't really know how many Junk Synchrons are in the top 32, but they definitely have made a huge impact on this tournament. I love it. Mass Heroes in third, Blue Eyes, that, wow, Bujins. Bujins are in there in the top five. We don't even know where Spellbooks are. Where the hell are they? Ultra Athlete, Silent Sword Slash, Silent Magician. Wait, is Silent Magician not Spellbooks? It's a Silent Magician deck? Crazy. Gladiator Beast, Fur Hire, Dragoonity. We did see Dragoonity get knocked out, unfortunately. Let's get ready for game number three. Right? Yep, all right. Negative one is side decking. Get her done. Jade Hex says 50-50, so there are three Junk Synchron control decks in the top 32. They did very well today. That puts them even with Blue Eyes. First week they came out, and most people wait to invest until after it does well in a tournament, so this might mean that we're going to see more Junk Synchron next week. It is very expensive. Junk Synchron and Armades are both ultra rare. Game three. If you want to enjoy Duel Links um, at a cheap level, cheap to play, under 20 bucks, you want to play a deck that's good enough to dominate everyone on the ladder, get king of games, you could type exclamation mark free to play. I'll do it for you. Exclamation mark F2P. I keep saying free to play. Duel. I should also have it under free, right? And this is what you'll be greeted with. You'll be greeted with a quick little deck guide on uh, a deck you could play. I created it last night. For you guys you guys free to play after buying the structure decks you buy the structure deck you could buy the solid magician structure deck or the the blue eye structure deck and you can have a deck that could hit king of games with no gems required at all so for under 20 bucks and no gems spent you could have a top tier solid magician deck you have to cut it until you have 20 cards that's why i show extra and for the blue eyes deck it's so much more versatile you could play ancient rules or a set as um your your main card and there you go both these decks free to play after 11.99 sealed tombs akiza has officially been sealed will not be able to summon a junk synchron swings into a medium wall of d not activating the effect of wind up juggler if wind up juggler were to activate its effect and destroy the samurai skull not only would that be a bad play because it's just 100 attack, but it would trigger Samurai Skull's effect to summon a zombie from the deck. If it leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, you get to special summon a zombie. Good stuff. Permanent reduction from the Wall of D. Minus 1600 forever. Junk! Synchron! Summoned under sealed tombs will not be special summoning a Verger. Maybe he's going for a Black Rose Dragon. That would be really good. Goodbye to all the back row. You all, mate. You all, mate. You all, mate. Black Rose. Boom. This is it. No, Black Rose is next month. Black APK Dragon. Junk Berserker. Junk Berserker destroys any monster in defense position. That's pretty cool. Also, it could remove a uh, it could remove the junk synchron to reduce the attack of any monster on the field by 1300. 1800 defense. Why do you eat Conum into defense right away? I guess he uh, you know was like, hey, you're obviously gonna attack my monster, I think. So let me just econ early. Why not? 
Which Shiner Dragon is the best? Black Rose Dragon, obviously. That's gonna be huge, especially with the Junk Synchrons running around. The control matchup, you're no longer going to be oversetting your back row unless you're playing Floodgates and uh, Kanadias. And then you're gonna be forced to Kanadia and Floodgate the, the Junk Synchron. It's gonna change up the back row and how everyone plays. It's gonna be the most meta-defining Signer Dragon will be Black Rose. It should have been Stardust Dragon, but unfortunately the meta is ahead of its time when Stardust Dragon was released to us because we had stuff like Drowning, Good Suck. Pretty much every deck has a way to deal with the Stardust Dragon already. When I remember playing the TCG, if you were able to make a turn one Stardust, you were set. You pretty much dealt with everything. Good Suck! Junk Berserker summoned just to get sucked up by the Good Suck Vampire Vamp. Vampire Vamp up to 4,700 attack. Negative one, is this it? Is this it? If anything happens to Vampire Vamp, if she goes to the grave, she will resummon herself onto the field. So if that is a widespread ruin, no bueno. 47, ooh, Sphere Kribo. She also gets an extra 500 boost from the Vampire Kingdom. 5,200. How do you do that? How do you... How did you put an ice block over the Vampire Vamp? <laughs> what? Galaxy Cyclone taking out the Kanadia. Next turn, he could banish the, the Cyclone to destroy the Junk Berserker, which would take off the attack boost, or he could destroy the Field Spell. Now, if he used a Sphere Kribo onto the Vampire Vamp, his back row is probably not good enough to stop a Grace and a vamp at the same time. If it's a drowning, if it's a Kanadia, this is it, it's over. Negative one, defeating Jonin. Goodbye, Junk Synchron control deck. Once again, game one and game three, losing to Sealed Tombs. Summoning a Junk Synchron under Sealed Tombs, not able to special summon the Verger to make the much needed Armades screwed him up. Goddamn, uh, but if you think about it, the Junk Berserker, being an Armades, would have also went to defense and would have also been good sucked. So, not too much of a big deal, actually. By the way, good job, negative one, with that 2-1 victory. Let's move on.